Good grief. Why do they never go in for me? Hi everybody, I'm back again. It's been a week. I don't know where that's gone. Um, I do know where it's gone. I've been listening to the records. Anyway, back again with a vinyl watch. Um, so I have been listening to lots of records this week. Um, just because I felt like, I didn't really feel like making a video, but I wanted to listen to loads of records. And, and this batch that I'm going to show now, I have really listened to loads. Really listened to loads. And I've been listening to other stuff as well. Um, but these were all bought online. Um, and a splendid time was had by me. So, first up, right, okay, so we got this first. So, this is Venus and Mars, as you can see. So, this is the follow up album to uh, Band on the Run by Wings. Um, it's not bad. It's it's not a patch on Band on the Run, it really isn't. They're just It's just no comparison, to be honest. Absolutely none. Band on the Run was just, for me, it's just a completely brilliant album from start to finish. This one is good. There's some decent stuff. Um, so you've got things like Rock Show is a nice opener. Um, quite enjoyed Medicine Jar, which was, uh, is it Jimmy McCulloch? Who, uh, who um, sung that? I think so. Um, Let Me Go is pretty good. Quite like that. That's a quite a nice, nice rocker from uh, sung by Paul. Loving Song is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but then you've got stuff like I don't know. Think everything else was all right. Magneto Entertainment Man. Oh my word! This doesn't work at all really doesn't work the inter it's supposed to be some kind of i don't know it's inspired by marvel comic characters i think but the internal logic of the song doesn't actually work and it doesn't make any sense the lyrics don't make sense altogether i don't know it just seems a bit meh um the big song of this was listen to what the man said and it's, i didn't i I don't know what planet I was living on, but I've never actually heard that song. I don't remember hearing that song. Even though it was in America number one, I don't remember hearing it before I heard this album. And it's okay. It's not one of my favorite wing singles. It really isn't. Spirits of Ancient Egypt isn't much cop. So this is a bit of a mixed bag for me. A bit of a mixed bag. Much more consistent for me. And I'm sure, I'm, I don't know if people will agree. I don't care. I just say what I think. Is this one. Because I got this about the same time. So Wings at the Speed of Sound. This, I don't know, I just find it a much more consistent record. Maybe I'm just being a bit, I don't know. I mean, I've listened to both of them quite a few times, but I did enjoy this more. Maybe because I enjoy it. The, to me, the two big singles, um, Silly Love Songs, which I quite like. It's a bit of a silly love song, really, but I quite like it. And Let Them In. For the longest time, I thought that was by Gilbert O'Sullivan. I thought, for at least 10 years, I thought that was by Gilbert O'Sullivan. I heard that one. I remember that one as a kid. And then I found out it was by Wings, and I thought, oops. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love that song. I think that is just brilliant. Um, this is, I think, on both of these albums, it, it seems to be more trying to get wings to be more of a band effort started here and then it really continued on here um because you've got songs sung by danny lane you've got songs sung, songs sung by jimmy mccullough you've got a song sung by linda which with the greatest will in the world is awful vocally i mean love her a little love her but like she really shouldn't have been singing lead vocals it's and it's not that bad a song i don't actually mind the song um, you've got things like, uh, what else is it? She's My Baby, I quite like. Why No Junko is pretty good. It just seems to be, I don't know, a more consistent record. Or one thing I forgot to mention about this one. The last bit, Treat A Gently Lonely Old People, is such a, I know it's got a lovely sentiment to the song, but it's such a boring end to the album. I think it's one of the worst, most boring album closes that I've ever heard. And it's a shame because the, the sentiment of the song is brilliant. 
you know, treat treat old people gently. It's lovely, but it's so boring, tedious. But this I find much more interesting. Um, I didn't show the. Uh, this one came with the inner, but no posters. I think this one was supposed to be the posters. Uh, there's the label. Custom label ones at the speed of sound. Not to say I didn't enjoy um, Venus and Mars, but I don't know. It's just a bit of a mixed bag to me. There's the inner for that one. It's a bit like a disc copy, but it's all right. Um, on Capital. Capital label. Um, yeah, I so yeah, I spent quite a lot of time listening to these two records this week. And uh, I will continue to do so. Maybe my opinion of that will change more, but I don't know. Right, what else did I get? I picked this up for four pounds, including delivery. This was quite brand new record, sealed brand new record for four quid online, which is a bit strange. So this is a band called Spring King, and they are an indie band with kind of, sounds like Britpop overtones to me. Um, Kind of, yeah, bit of punk, bit of Britpop, indie, probably 10 years too late, really. I think this was released in 2018. This is their second and final album. Um, I absolutely love it. I mean, I love this kind of indie. Um, absolutely stonking record, to be honest. Got the inner sleeve there, which is lovely. And it comes on... I do like the label. Comes on lovely clear vinyl. Yeah, this is really, really good indie. I really enjoyed listening to this. It was just so nice to know that there were still back there are still bands out there doing this kind of music. And I, there's a few names that I've found recently that maybe um, I'm I'm investigating at the moment. To, so hopefully. Guitar music is still in good hands out there, but this was a great buy. Really, it's on Island. Really enjoyed that. I am on the lookout. Well, yeah, I am on the lookout for the. Well, I've got it in watch list on on eBay, so I might get the first album as well, which had uh, a couple of singles that I remember from about 2015 that I did actually download. So I'm looking out for that as well. But this is a great, great addition to the collection. Right, I then bought five albums from the same seller, and um, I was, I'm just blown away by these. Some of these I really enjoy listening to. Let's do that one next. So I've been after this one for a while. So this is um, Cargo by Men at Work. So this is their second album. Bit of a dog-eared cover, but the record plays really good. Um, I really enjoy listening to this. This is more, so it's pretty similar style, but the song... But there is a difference in the songs. I mean, the big hit over on this one was Overkill. I really like Dr. Heckle and Mr. Jive. Um, I think there was a couple of other singles on here as well. Was it It's a Mistake and High Wire? Um, it's got more of that sort of new wavy, slightly reggae-tinged kind of police-style kind of rock. I think it's a great record. Really enjoyed listening to this. Um, there's the band, there's the inner. Just a typical epic um, label. Yeah, top top stuff that. I'm really glad I finally got a copy of that. Um, what we got next? Oh, the palaver I've had trying to get this one. Right, I finally got a decent copy of the first Aha album, which is Hunting High and Low. Um, this is fabulous pop music. This was not just teen pop trash. This was great stuff. Um, I think this is the third or fourth copy that I've, I've bought. I haven't wasted a lot of money. Most of them have been pound copies. Um, and this one came up. It's in Fabnik. Finally got a decent copy. Absolutely stoked. Got some brilliant... It's got the classic take on me on it. Um, Hunting High and Low is a brilliant... I absolutely love Hunting High and Low. The song, uh, just on that Warner's label. Um, I think. Oh, I I really like Morton Harkett's voice. He's got a real. I love it when he switches. He's got quite a range, and he switches from 
low and then he switches to high. Um, really, he's got a really good voice. I really like it. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to get a copy of this actually. Absolutely stoked. So that was brilliant. Uh, what should we round? What should we do next? Let's do that one next. Uh, I've got a copy of George's Satellites. I think this is their debut, isn't it? Yeah, it's a debut. So this has got Keep Your Hands to Yourself and Battleship Chains on. Classic, brilliant, sort of bar room rock. Brilliant stuff, though. Um, absolutely love this. So, red light, golden light. Uh, every picture tells a story. It's just brilliant. You, you put it on, it's just rock and roll. It's brilliant. I absolutely love this album. It's absolutely superb. Um, I've had CDs for years, but it's so nice to get this on that black and red Electra. Finally on vinyl, so I was dead chuffed to get that. Um, put that down there, I'll put that away in a minute. Uh, also, I picked up a hair metal, a bit of hair metal. So there's Rats, I think this is their third album. So this is uh, under Dancing Undercover, and this was released in... Ooh, can't see. 80, 86, I think that is. Um, you know what you're getting with a rat album. It's it's heavier glam pop, glam rocking metal. I, yeah, it is 86 uh, on Atlantic. I think I've said before, it's kind of crazy how many glam metal bands got on to Atlantic. I, I like rap. Better than that. I think I've talked about this quite recently. I'm not going to witter on, but I'm glad I got that. And last one, and probably the most interesting one I picked up is this one. So this is Sandy and the Sunsets. Um, and this is Immigrants. This was released in 1982. Um, so Sandy and the Sunsets are originally a couple of separate acts in Japan, and they came together. Um, this side label came together to basically try and make it a little bit bigger. I think they started off in their home in in Japan. Sandy is I can't remember her first name now, but she's actually uh, half American, half Japanese. I think her dad was Hawaiian, I think, um, or stationed. I don't know. I don't. I can't remember the entire story there. Um, but they came together, uh, and this is a great sort of early 80s pop, new wavy sort of album with, some of it sounds like Blondie, some of it sounds a bit more punky, um, but there's a kind of a, a streak of Japanese-ness all the way through. Japanese-ness, what a terrible word that is. Uh, there's a streak of Jap Japan all the way through it. That's better. Um, like, just little synth runs and um, the instrumentation, the arrangements. Very Japanese, to be honest. Um, so it's been... Sandy sang with... Uh, sang a song with um, Yellow Magic Orchestra uh, on one of their albums. Um so there's guest stars on here. The biggest one would be David Sylvian, who's, I don't know if you can see that. There's a list of the guest stars. So yeah, the biggest one is um, David Sylvian, who did some backing vocals for it, um, for the album and a couple of tracks. He actually, yeah, he wrote some lyrics as well. So where the, where the fire still burns, he, um, wrote the lyrics for that. I uh, wonder if he did anything else. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, and Living on the Front Line. So he wrote a couple of lyrics and Illusion as well. So you can see that you've got some of the songs sung in Japanese. I think some are, there's a few lyrics that are Hawaiian, I think. Um, so yeah, so this is, a, it's a really interesting listen, I'm really glad, 
I picked this up because I heard about this a lot for years and I didn't really know what I what I um what they sounded like. And I think it's one clip of a one really incongruous clip of them on some early eighties kids kids pop show or something and it, it's just so out of place, it's amazing. I'll try and link that. I'll put a playlist up somewhere, wherever it is. Um, there'll be a link here. I'll try and put it in the description as well. If I remember, I'm sure somebody will remind me. But yeah, nice album to round out the batch with. So there we go. So I'm deciding whether to do another CD roundup because um, I went out again to where I got a load of CDs from last week. So the Poundland and the charity shop, and I picked up another load. So, and they were quite good stuff. So I'm, I think to, I might do a, another CD roundup later. Aren't you lucky people? Um, so yes, I'll see you all again soon. And thanks for watching and take care and bye.